Hello, this is Chen Nguyen from Finale Inventory. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import sublocations. So let's go to our test account here. So Finale Inventory has the ability to keep track of multiple uh, locations, meaning you can keep track of stock in multiple warehouses. And how you set that up is go to Application Settings, and click on the Facility tab here. And here I've already created two locations. One is called the warehouse location at 100 Pine. I've created another location at the overflow warehouse at 200 Oak. Within each location, for example, the warehouse, you can create multiple sublocations, which meaning you can divide the warehouse into, you know, some customers divide it into bins or aisles or rows or pallet racks or pallet spaces. So it allows you to give greater visibility of where a product is within a given warehouse. So in this example so far, I've, you know, we have, let's say for example, this bin, I have one bin called M1 that's part of the warehouse location. And you can mainly enter them in here, but what do you do when you have a lot of sublocations you want to enter? You know, again, you can add them here if you want, but also you have the ability to import the sublocations, which I'm gonna show you here. So if I go to Excel, and I went ahead and already created one for you. So basically it's a two column Excel file. Column one is the sublocation, and column two is my location. So in this example, I'm gonna add three more bins under my warehouse location. I wanna add two bins, 01 and 02, under my overflow warehouse. So after I create this two column Excel file, I just copy and paste this. Go back to my account and see where it says import sublocations, this blue button. You click on it, I hit paste. And basically it says now, it says it's green here saying we're going to create five new sublocations. You see M2, M3, M4 for my warehouse and 01 and 02. I hit start import, uh, click the confirmation and it should be done in momentarily. Okay. So if I go back to here, maybe if I refresh my screen here, we should see the sublocations uh, entered. And here they are. So here I have my warehouse, I'll have my M1, M2, M3, M4, and then my overflow I have O1 and O2. So that's how you import sublocations um, into Finale. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're more than happy to help. Thank you very much.